you know how important spines and swim bladders are in that scope of things. But what if you need to evaluate a different type of tissue? What if you say you need to look at the intestines, need to look at reproductive structures, or you suspect your fish might have a tumor? Well, that's where ultrasound comes into play. And you can absolutely 100% ultrasound a fish. It's actually a lot easier than other species because rather than putting the contact gel on the probe, they actually already have it built in. So we have our fish anesthetized in our tub and the way that I do ultrasounds is the way that I have found is easiest for me. The way that you do ultrasounds might be a lot different. Um, so we have this wonderful portable system. It just plugs into a tablet here. Um, and this is a great system for basically all sorts sides of fish. So what I do first is I will first run my probe along the right lateral side of the fish going all the way down. And usually during this, we'll notice any reproductive structures. So especially with the big koi and the ovaries or testicles, you can usually find the kidneys nestled right between the two swim bladders and then all the way down to the end of the fish. Then I'll come back and do the midline. So in between the fins here, we're looking for gallbladder, liver, mostly intestines and fat in this area. And a lot of the times the fish will have lots of food in their intestines and that's very easy to pick up, especially this time of year. And then depending on how the fish is doing, I might rotate them on their side. Some koi don't like being on their side, so they might roll all the way over. And then I'll repeat with the left lateral side, moving along the side of the fish. And this is pretty much the same way I do all of my ultrasounds. Um, like I said, this is just the method that I have developed over the years. And now we're gonna look at a couple different images and give you an idea of what the ultrasound probe can find in fish. All right, we will first start out with a normal ultrasound. So the big black structure on the left is the gallbladder in this fish. Just like other animals, they do tend to be a little bit enlarged when they haven't been eating. In this fish, it is a female. You can see the ovary as that granular tissue on the right, and the intestines and fat are on the left. The intestines are those tube-like structures. Basically, you have two sides, and then inside will be the food. This ultrasound is another normal female, with the ovary, the granular structure, off to the left, and the kidney, the more opaque structure, on the right. In koi, they actually have a piece of kidney that sits between the swim bladder, which you can see as that white line there. That is a normal feature of these fish, and this is a normal kidney. This next koi presented for negative buoyancy. In the ultrasound, we were able to see normal intestines and fat right across the middle where that white band of tissue is. However, below that, there is a darker kind of irregular patch and this is actually the swim bladder and instead of being full of air it was found to be full of a purulent kind of pus like material that was tapped when we put a needle in there but this was definitely not normal anatomy. This is another koi that has a similar tumor problem as the koi before. Now that white area there that is actually the tumor itself and it is surrounded by a very dark color that's a bunch of fluid. This is very commonly what we see presented with koi that have asymmetrical salomic cavities. Uh, we do see tumors in koi fairly frequently which is why I use ultrasound on all of the larger koi. This next ultrasound is a little bit specialized to the type of fish this is. So this is an ultrasound of the eye of a black moor. So this fish's eyeball had gotten severely enlarged in size compared to even his other eye. Black moors have very large eyes to begin with. And you can see that white structure there is actually the back of the retina had developed a tumor that was making this eye significantly larger. Our last ultrasound is a common finding in goldfish that present to us looking like water balloons. So all of these black grape light structures are cysts that have formed in the kidneys. Uh, this is known as polycystic kidney disease. We see this fairly frequently. Unfortunately, we don't know the cause of this. I do suspect it might be genetic like it is in other animals, but mostly palliative care, rupturing some of these with a needle is really the only thing that we can do for these fish. For help with your fish, 
please visit the American Association of Fish Veterinarians at fishvets.org or the World Aquatic Veterinary Medical Association at wavma.org.